you probably clicked on this video because you want to know what kind of companies you can work for as a high ticket closer. There are literally thousands and thousands of online sales jobs that you can go apply to today. Instead of just telling you, I want to go ahead and show you. So I've picked five companies in five different industries in five different niches to show you an example of the kind of jobs you can work as, as a high ticket closer and how you can get to 10K a month working for those companies. So the first example here is the online education industry. So there's two different veins when you're selling in business. You have B2B, which is business to business sales. And then you have B2C, which is business to consumer sales. The online education space is predominantly in the B2C industry. This is where a company is selling a consumer something and they'll go and build you know, a business off the back of or they'll make money from. So there are so many different companies within this space. You could do drop shipping, you could do trading, you could do sales such as my company, Club Closer. You could start an agency, you could do Airbnb, you could do property, like the list goes on and on and on. And there are thousands of companies to choose from that you could be working for. However, I've picked probably one of the most well-known um, and you might have heard of him already, Iman Gadzi. You know, he's been in the online education space for as far as I'm aware, at least the last five years. And he's got a company in which he helps people start making money online. And he's got a few products. So the funnel sort of looks like this. He might have a low ticket product at the front end. I think he has a $30 a month product. And then from that, his sales team will contact those people that have brought into that product and then we'll try and upsell them on a more expensive product. I believe these go for around a thousand, um, as far as I'm aware, a thousand or so each, but then he has a sales team off the back of that where they'll upsell these people into a higher ticket product, such as maybe agency accelerator, um, digital launch, launch pad, the winning store, like any of these different products, right? So I know he's hiring closers and I know how much his closers make because he actually has a careers tab and he's currently hiring a closer. This was posted September 2024, it's full time. And by all means, still the URL here and you can go through this yourself and get an understanding of exactly what the job role looks like. Um, but this is a really good example of one. And you can kind of see, I believe it says here, the on-track earnings, 12 closers a month equals 10.8K. So I'm not the strongest at maths. So I'll use a calculator, uh, 10,800 divided by 12, 900. I would assume they're making around 10%. So I would times that by 10. So his higher ticket product is around $9,000. Um, $9, so that's how you're getting, you know, 12 closes a month to make 10.8K. So this is the online education space. This is a B to B to C company. And there, as I said, there are thousands of companies out there just like this, but work in the online education space, selling people on methods to make money online um, is a very big industry. It's probably one of the biggest you could work within. And I'll be honest, my company Club Closer is another example of this. You know, we help traditional sales reps get into the online space, get better at sales and land remote sales positions. We're not selling to companies, we're selling to individuals and we're helping them get a result. That result being more income, more time, more freedom whatever that person may specifically want. Um, so we're another example of that. And I have a team of three closers right now. Obviously we've hired out the people we've directly coached because it kind of makes sense. We're, we've trained them up from day one. Um, but we're another example of that. You could work for a company like ours, you could work for a company like Imans or any of these others uh, B2C companies out there. So that's the first one. Now, the next one I wanna talk about is B2B. So this is in a slightly different industry. But B2B, as we said, is business to business. Now, Charlie Morgan here, who I've come across quite a lot within the online space, I actually work with him myself. Um, he has a business in which he helps agency owners, coaches, and consultants with client acquisition. Now, client acquisition is pretty much the backbone of every single business ever, right? If you can't acquire customers, you can't acquire clients, your business isn't gonna make money. So it's a very important gap he is filling. and. To be honest, his business will should always succeed because the methods of client acquisition as the market changes will change, but the methodology behind client acquisition will always stay the same. So he helps yeah, agency owners, coaches and consultants get more clients. And he works with businesses mostly in the online space, such as mine. You know, we wanted to try and improve our advertising and our client acquisition, and therefore it made sense to work with him but he also hires closers. I know he's got a sales team of eight individuals, as far as I'm aware, and does, I think, around a million a month. Um, but you'll see that, you know, he runs a lot of ads on YouTube, 
and on Instagram and Facebook. And you'll see that, you know, very simply, like people don't have traditional websites these days. And I think this is maybe where a lot of people get confused when they're looking at companies they want to work with. The way the online space is going and the way a lot of business is going now is people are buying into people more. And you'll see with a lot of the companies I'm speaking about today, all of these individuals have personal brands. They're on YouTube, they're on Facebook, they're on Instagram, they're active. And people are watching that content, consuming that content, buying into that individual so much so they wanna go and buy a product from them. It's exactly how I got sold on Iman when I first started watching him five years ago. I brought into his program because I consumed his content on YouTube. Same as Charlie. I watched some of Charlie's free stuff on YouTube and was like, this guy's good. He knows what he's talking about. And then I and then obviously I got served some of his adverts because that's how the you know Facebook algorithm works. You get served adverts from people you consume. And then obviously I went in and bought his product. But you see someone like Charlie here, he he's a very successful business that, you know, he has to hire eight closers. Um, like any business gets to a certain size, this the founder can't take the sales calls. So Here's another company, B2C, in which they hire closers. And I know they hire closers because two of the closers we've trained with Inside Club Closer actually work for Charlie. And actually this month they're doing very well for Charlie. So both of which came from traditional sales backgrounds to my knowledge. We've got Zane and Ed. I'm not actually sure if they came from traditional sales background, but Zane definitely did. And he's making more money with Charlie than he did in his traditional sales job. So B2C um, consultancy coaching businesses are very popular and there's a big space for this. The next one I wanna speak about is agencies. Now, the two other companies I just spoke about and the two other industries are typically like, this is the price of the product, this is what you pay and you get a set outcome. And there's only ever paying, you're only ever paying once for it, right? You know, I paid Charlie, for example, I think it was around 10K to join his program. And I think there's an annual fee, but for the most part, like that's the price I'm paying up front. I'm paying for a certain outcome. Whereas agencies often charge retainers. So the way you work and the way you make money as a closer off an agency is slightly different. So the two companies I mentioned before, you let's say the price point is 10K. A closer closes me, they get $1,000, right? Very simple. But an agency, it might be that it's a $2,000 a month retainer, meaning that charge is due monthly because the work is continuous. And that closer might make $200 a month for however long I stay on as a client. So the front end sales and amount a closer might make with an agency might be lesser in the first couple months, but they will compound consistently and continue to increase. Um, so agencies are another way, another, not another way, another industry a closer could work within. Um, that could be an advertising agency, a content agency, a branding agency, email marketing, YouTube agency. There are short form agencies. There's so many different agencies out there. So the example I've chosen here is adspend.com. They're a very big YouTube ads agency that only specialize in YouTube ads. And some names you might recognize, like Patrick Bet David's work with them, Sam Ovens, Frank Kern, Cole Gordon, Jeremy Miner, many more. In fact, Charlie used to work with them as an agency. I'm not sure if he still does now, but I believe their retainer might be something in the region of 10K a month. So imagine if you're a closer and you close a client for them that is paying $10,000 a month, there's a potential that you could be making a $1,000 a month retainer, your 10% commission off just closing that one client and that will compound. So working for advertising agencies is another industry that you can work as a closer and make a significant amount of money. So what's really interesting about Brian's business is he actually runs YouTube ads and you know loads of companies throughout the whole world um, run YouTube ads. You might've even seen an ad before you watch this video because uh, it's on YouTube. but he actually only works with info product uh, within the info product industry, right? Info product marketing industry. So info product being an online informational product. So if you think about it, Iman's selling an informational uh, information product, right? He's teaching you something. He's selling you information to get a certain outcome. Charlie's actually doing the same. He's selling information to teach you and show you how to you know, get more clients. Iman showing you how to start a business in whichever product you buy into of Iman's. I actually have an info-based product, right? It's in the online education space, but it's an information that I'm actually selling. So in order for Brian to have a successful business and niche down specifically to working in the info market industry and wanting to scale businesses past seven, eight figures, that market itself has to be pretty big 
for it to be worth Brian actually having a business in this space. So the reason I chose this one is I wanted to show you that yes, there are businesses like Imans and Charlie's that are very, very successful in the space, but to show you that there are many more and Brian's won't be the only ads agency within the space or YouTube ads agency within the space. There are probably hundreds, if not thousands of others. Um, but for him to be the best, there's obviously got a big enough, there's got to be a big enough market for him to warrant niching down into that specific area. Um, so I want to show you that the industry itself is very big. And honestly, just a hack, like if you wanted to see more businesses that you could work with, just scrolling through the testimonials of Brian's um, website, you could probably see different companies you could work for. If you Googled any of these names, I guarantee at least 80% of these individuals hire closers and potentially the same with Charlie's. If you scrolled through some of Charlie's results, some of these individuals, again, will all be hiring closers. So I'm showing you the surface level. I'm showing you some of the bigger companies in this space, but there are thousands of others that are doing similar numbers, if not slightly less, sometimes even more that you could go and work for. The next one I want to talk about that isn't necessarily in the making money and growing your business industry, um, such as like B2C, B2B, or the agency model, would be health and wellness and fitness, right? This is some this is an industry as a whole that is growing. People are caring more and more about the health. They're caring more about being healthier, happier, fitter, stronger, eating better, and just overall improving their health. And there are many businesses out there that serve and work with people to fix that. So a friend of mine, Ben Smith, has a business um, called Aura, and he works with successful entrepreneurs that have any health conditions, underlying health conditions, they simply wanna sleep better, they might have you know, an autoimmune disease or anything, and he'll work with you over a course of 12 weeks to fix that. And as you can see here, he's worked with a lot of uh, employees of a lot of big companies, and he's worked with a few of the guys that I personally know as well. So. He can help you improve your health, is what I'm trying to say. And people now value that so much that they're willing to pay a high price for it. You know, everybody cares about making more money, um, living a better life. But as soon as your health deteriorates, it's the one thing that nothing else matters. You just want to improve your health. So it's a big industry. People spend a lot of money in it. And I know Ben has a very successful business. And as you can see here, all of these businesses, you know, schedule a call. And that call will be or a team so it would be with one of his closers somebody that works on his team that can talk you through how they can help you improve your health or whatever underlying health condition you might have and you can see you know some of his results here so this is another industry within that space that you can work within and again an example of just one business so we've covered b2c b2b we've covered agencies we've covered health and wellness and the next one really is masterminds and this again probably falls into the b2b range but there are a lot of influencers, a lot of big names out there that instead of building an info product, and a lot of these companies, they might have an info product as well, they have more than one product, but they'll sell masterminds. And what a mastermind is, is it's essentially where you get together with that successful individual, such as William Brown here, he sold his online education company for over 10 million. And you can go and spend four days with him in a smaller group with a few other business owners, and essentially brainstorm and pick apart your business and he can help you scale it. So it's a bit more intimate than you know these other info products and you're not buying access to a course, a coaching program, it's one-on-one -on -one, um, support. And obviously they come at a higher price point. I believe William charges anywhere from 15 to maybe 30 grand for his, uh, his masterminds he holds, I think mostly in Dubai. He does three day, he does one day. Um, and as you can see, you know he makes a lot of money from that and he hires a closer. So all of these companies you're seeing have this book a call button, right? They're all booking a call with, you know, you'd like to think it was the business owner, but business owners just, you know, if the business is scaling, it's, uh, they need to hire closers, right? And you can see his availability is for the next two days. Um, so this is an opportunity where you could be the one taking these calls for William, and you could be selling a 15 to 30 grand mastermind along with any of the other products he might sell. And if it's set, and if you're selling a 50 to 30 grand mastermind, you're gonna make between 1.5 to 3K. So masterminds is another very lucrative uh, thing that high ticket closers can sell. But really, I want you to see that all these websites and all these businesses, they look very sort of similar in their layout in that 
you know, it's all kind of a video explaining what the business does and click to book a call. A video explaining, click to book a call. I believe Brian's the same, video explaining, book a call. Video explaining, book a call. Iman's is slightly different, but the same premise will apply. And the reason these businesses do that is because it's not like the old days where you're not gonna type up the name of a company and go ahead and read the website and try and figure out the ins and outs and intricate details and sort of sell yourself on it. Businesses now have found out that sales funnels are the most effective way for them to get more sales and get more people into working with them. So by watching a short video and selling that call with the closer and the closer can then educate you on what the product is, how it can help you, how it can work in your specific, you know, whatever problem you're facing, how it can specifically help you, that company is gonna make more money and they're gonna get more sales. So that's why, and that's kind of online businesses as a whole, this is how they operate, this is how they work. And it's no secret now that like, you know, if some of the biggest companies in the world within the space are, are, are kind of structuring their, their websites like this, this works, right? We, Club Closer, the same. We have the exact same sales funnel in which it's a video, access that free training, and then you know, we're gonna try and get you on a call and see if we can actually help you. So I hope this helps. I hope this gives you a good understanding of the types of businesses you can work for. And the beautiful thing about this is there are thousands of businesses out there. You know, we've looked at some specific niches within here. So Ben, for example, is a holistic health coach. There are people that, you know, within the health and wellness space that sell mindset. They might just specifically work with people that want to improve their mindset. There are coaches that specifically work with Christian clients that want to, you know, help Christians improve their mindset or help Christians improve their businesses. We help sales reps get into online sales. There are companies that help nurses start their own business within the health sector. There are businesses that help, you know, photography people um, start their own photography businesses. And this list goes on and on and on and on and on. It basically comes down to this. You want to find businesses or niches that you are actually interested in and go and sell within that niche. You know, if you're big on fitness and you you, you go to the gym a lot, you wanna get better, you wanna help people get fitter and stronger, go and work for a company like Vshred, another company within the space that sells, you know, weight loss and fitness programs that some of the closers I've coached have gone and worked with. Instead of me just telling you about these businesses, I wanted to show you them and I wanted to share them with you. But after watching this, you should have a good understanding of the kind of businesses you can work for if you were to become a high ticket closer.